In all honesty, I noticed that there were screws on this, but never took notice of exactly what they do because I was under the false presumption that this was a solid piece of metal underneath the plastic, like a traditional hotel mute. Yet, I was wrong. And thank you, Caleb Concept, for pointing that out. So let's zoom in and take a closer look at how to properly set an Artino practice mute on your cello. So out of the box, your Artino mute is going to come nice and tight. So I'm going to try to place this on my bridge. You don't put it on and then push down like this. Never do that because you're going to damage the legs and damage the wood here. Instead, put it on, and I will do it with my other hand, and pinch in like this. Now it fits fine, and there's no problem with fitment, but it's quite tight. For those of you that have a much thicker bridge, you can take a screwdriver and then loosen it up. Let's take a closer look at what I'm doing over here. Here is the Artino practice mute securely fastened to my bridge. As I pushed it down prior, it is quite a tight fit. Now I'll demonstrate one more time how to do this. Place it on the top and then pinch like this along the top and bottom of your bridge, like that. Now it's a bit tight, so you can loosen it with these screws here. I will do that. And now it's much looser and I can push it down much easier as well. I have to thank all of you for watching because I'm learning a lot just as much as you guys as well. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Here is more content on the channel that you might be interested. And I hope you stick around and continue to learn on this wonderful journey of music discovery.